Hi everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to show you all how to make pound cake. Here's what you will need. You will need three cups of white sugar. You will need eight ounces of ricotta cheese, six large eggs. You will need three sticks of butter unsalted. You will need two teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of vanilla, a teaspoon of salt. You will need three cups of flour and you wanna use a bunt pan. And you wanna make sure that you flour and oil your pan. Okay, if you want to, you can use this. This is the oil that has the flour in it and you just spray your pan and your cake just comes out nice and smooth with no problems. Okay, now I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. The first thing that you need to do when you're making a pound cake is you start out with your sugar. All right, let's see. Let me get a good picture down into this mixing bowl. I'm gonna use my stand-up mixer today. By all means, you don't have to use a stand-up mixer. Feel free to use the handheld mixer if you have one, okay? And if you don't have that, hey, just use some good elbow grease and a nice spoon and you can whip that bad boy up, you hear me? Okay, so then, here's what we're gonna do. Take your three cups of sugar and your three sticks of butter, okay? These uh, sticks of butter are room temperature and they're unsalted, all right? Let's get those in there. And you wanna cream your butter and your sugar together, all right? Now, hold on one second, guys. I wanna show you all something. And honestly, I've never seen this in the stores and I thought it was pretty neat. Let me get all this butter in there, okay? All right. Let me see. Let me go in my refrigerator, guys. This is what I found today at Kroger's, and I think this is just awesome. So they're baking sticks. And I thought, how great. And it said no softening needed. So that's a new item that they're carrying. Well, actually, I don't know if it's new, but I think it's awesome. And the next time I go to bake, hey, that's what I'm going to get. All right, so then you want to cream your butter and sugar together. So let me put this onto my mixer, just like so. I'm going to bring it forward so you all can see down in there. Okay. Creaming and buttering, creaming your butter and sugar is very, very, very important. I can remember my grandma making pound cake. She made pound cake a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on low, all right? And turn it on low speed. And I can remember my grandma making a pound cake. She made the best pound cake, guys. We called her grandma. And sometimes if I was over there and she was making a pound cake, she would have a big bowl, right? And she'd give me a wooden spoon and she would say, now, sit down with that bowl, that butter and that sugar, and you stir it until I can't hear the sugar anymore, <laughs> right? And so I would be stirring this sugar and butter. <laughs> <laughs> like for it it felt like forever it probably wasn't forever but it felt like forever and I would say is it done and she you know and she would take the spoon and she would move it around in a bowl and she would say no I can still hear the sugar and I'm thinking oh my gosh <laughs> but that right there that is an awesome memory like I said, my grandma made the best pound cake. This is not her recipe. This is my recipe, and I'm so happy to share it with you all. But I will never, ever forget creaming that butter and sugar and just waiting for her to say, yep, it's good. I can't hear the sugar anymore. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do right now, I want to scrape some of this butter that's stuck into my whisk. I want to scrape it off of my whisk so that it can get nice and incorporated with the uh, sugar. 
Okay, let me let me check on it, guys. Awesome. This is what we're wanting. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's try to push a little bit of that out so everything can get nice and creamed. Nice and fluffy is what we're looking for. We're going to have a nice, fluffy, moist pound cake. You hear me? I'm going to show you guys how to make a pound cake for your holidays. Or it doesn't have to be for the holidays. All right? Let's cream this a little bit longer. All right? And I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit more. There we go. I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Let's turn this off. Our butter and our sugar is nice and well creamed. Now, you can tell the butter has taken on a very light color. And see how fluffy that it looks? Okay, that's what you're wanting when you cream your butter and sugar. All right, so let's get this out of this whisk right here. And then we're going to add our vanilla. Okay, and the rest of our ingredients. Let me scrape this down really quick. Okay, everyone, I have the whisk nice and scraped down. Now, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and put our two tablespoons of vanilla in. <clears throat> All right. So I'm just going to eyeball my vanilla. There's one. There's two. Vanilla in, absolutely. And we're going to go ahead and grab our ricotta. And what I'd like to use, this is a 15 ounce container. I'm going to use just eight ounces of the ricotta. Okay? If you're a person that doesn't like ricotta, hey, you don't have to use it. Okay? No big deal. You don't have to use it, just omit it. All right? I'm going to use a little less than half of the ricotta. What it does is it makes it nice and fluffy and moist. Absolutely. And I, I know that there's people out there that like to use sour cream and other different things to make for a nice moist pound cake. Hey, feel free to. Possibilities are endless with pound cake. You can put whatever you want in there. All right, now we want to cream up this ricotta with our butter and our sugar and our vanilla. Absolutely. Let's get a good picture down in there. Let me scrape the sides really quick, guys. because I want to get that vanilla well incorporated. I see it's on the side. I'm going to get that way down in there. There we go. Scrape your sides, guys. Take the time to scrape all of those ingredients that had gathered on the side. Scrape it down in there. Absolutely. We want all that goodness, right? We don't want anything left on the side. All right? So then, what I like to do is start adding some of our flour. Now, when we add our flour, we're only going to add a little bit at a time. As we add the flour, we're going to put our, let me go ahead and add my two teaspoons of baking powder right on in here, okay? Uh -oh, a little bit more. There we go. Two teaspoons baking powder in there. We're going to go ahead and add our salt. And what I'm doing right now is I'm adding my salt right on into my flour. Okay? It's in there. So now, mix my salt around just like so. And then let me get this measuring cup here. And I'm going to start to put flour in. Okay, remember this is three cups of flour. I'm just going to put a little bit in right now. And I'm going to put about one or two eggs in. Okay, 
Then we're gonna mix this up. There's one, let's get two in there, okay? Then we're gonna mix this up just like so. And you can mix it on low, which is just fine. And then once it starts to get incorporated, we're gonna put a little bit more flour, like just like so. Okay, can you guys see down in there? All right. A little bit more flour, okay. There's nothing like pound cake, guys. When you all want a snack and you're sitting around thinking about what you're gonna have for dessert, I just put uh, three eggs fell in there. I meant to put two in, but it's okay. Nothing will happen. All right, let me lift this up really quick so that I can pour the rest of this flour in, just like so. All right. I'm gonna put that last egg in. That's the sixth egg. And I'm gonna turn this up on the medium. There we go. Oh, what I was saying is there's nothing like when you all want a dessert and you're sitting around trying to think of something sweet, you got a sweet tooth, and you just want something and you can't figure out what you want. Pound cake is all pound cake will always hit the spot, right? mom's house when I was younger and she would make pound cake I would slice it up right and then what I would do I like to spread butter on my pound cake I don't know where I got that idea from but just a look just a nice smear of butter on that pound cake was so delicious I've been thinking about thinking and thinking and thinking about pound cake and I said I'm gonna do a pound cake and so here we are making that pound cake and what I don't want you to do is over mix it okay you don't want to have an over mixed pound cake all right oh yeah look at this this is exactly what we're wanting you hear me let's scrape these sides down and we're almost done mixing all right that batter smells so good, guys. Ooh-wee! Okay, I'm going to give this about two more minutes of mixing, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, everyone, our batter is nice and done. Let's lift this up. I like to keep it on while I'm lifting it up, and that helps to get everything off of my whisk. And it doesn't splatter everywhere. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now, the little bit that's left on there, oh, we can scrape that off. I can remember, I loved, when I was younger, to be able to lick those cake beaters. Oh my goodness, I would just be waiting at the kitchen when, like, say my dad made mashed potatoes or my grandma was making cake or something, I'd be right there hounding that table for those cake beaters. <laughs> and I know since I've been making videos and doing desserts and things, you all would hound me. No, Gina, don't lick the cake. You know, don't lick the beaters. And I'm like, I've been doing that all my life. I still do it, guys. <laughs> but there's some people out there like, oh my gosh, no, there's raw egg in it. And I'm like, ooh, -wee. if you don't want to lick the cake, <laughs> the cake batter out the, out the bowl, you don't have to. But when I'm done mixing this cake, oh, my nine-year-old, he'll be in here to lick this, <laughs> to lick this 
a bowl. Yes, he will. That's a part of my childhood. It's a part of his childhood. Absolutely. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I have my, let me take this off. There he is, right on time. I told you guys my nine-year-old would be in here hounding for this. You want this, Dakota? Yeah. All right, baby. Let me get this off and you can have it. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's take this off. I'm going to show you all how to pour this in here. Because you want to be careful when you're pouring it in there. Because if you pour it and you get it, you just slop it in there, you're going to have burnt pieces. So you just want to be careful when you're putting it into your pan. And make sure, like I said, you preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you spray your pan. All right? So here's what we'll do. Let me get a good picture in on this. And you just put it in there evenly. And then we can spread it around once we get it in there. And it is a thick batter. Okay? It's not a batter that's thin. It's a nice thick batter. So put it in here evenly, just like so. Let's get this side. Ooh, -ay. this smells of pure vanilla and ricotta. Like I said, if you all don't want to use the ricotta, don't use it. It's okay. All right? But if you all don't mind using it, try it, and you'll see just how fluffy and moist this cake is. Now, um, oh my goodness, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say, guys. Oh, I was going to say, you're more than welcome to use a lemon extract or lemon juice or 7-Up. There's so many different things you can do when making pound cake. You can use maple extract. Yeah, absolutely. All right. See how we've put it in here evenly? See, I want to scrape that off right there so that it doesn't burn. Okay. All right, let's scrape this whole thing here. And then I'm sure Dakota will be in here to get that goodness out of that bowl. <laughs> I know he will. If he doesn't, I will. We have some eggnog in the refrigerator. And I just might have me a glass of eggnog to go with this pound cake tonight. This is our dessert for tonight. Today is Sunday, and I'm making Cajun rice. I'm making fried chicken tenders and Cajun rice. Well, the dirty rice, I'm sorry. I, bel I don't know. I think some people call it Cajun rice, but I'm making dirty rice tonight. And those fried chicken tenders, and we're having pound cake for dessert. Absolutely. Okay, my oven is nice and preheated up. There's some people out there that make a pound cake using a cold oven. Have you all ever heard about that? If you haven't, look it up. It's awesome. But you know what? I thought about doing that, but I got so nervous and scared. And I said, uh-uh, and I'm just going to go back to my roots, you know, and just do it how I know. But they say when you do the cold oven... You start off with the cold oven. You put like you put your cake in just like this into a cold oven. You let everything heat up together, but it makes for a beautiful top. It makes it nice and crispy on the top. Yeah, absolutely. So if you all have never tried it, give it a try and let me know what you think. <laughs> I was too afraid to try it, guys. All right. So here we go. Let me clean my edge up just a little. I don't want any burnt pieces. I'm going to throw this in the oven. I'm going to hit this just a few times. Then I'm going to try to smear it as much as I can to make it beautiful, okay? Do what I can to fix this up. All right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Just like this. This is going in the oven on 350. When it's done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to let you know exactly how long it took 
to bake. I'm going to slice this bad boy up and let you know what it tastes like. Be right back. This is going in the middle rack. Don't put this on the bottom rack or the top rack. Be back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. This pound cake has cooked for 40 minutes. I'm sorry, the pound cake cooked for 45 minutes. Check it out. And yes, I do have it upside down. I just think that this side looks more beautiful. <laughs> but you guys will get to see the other side when I slice it. I'm going to slice down into this bad boy. And I'm going to smear me a little bit of butter on there like I would do my grandmom's pound cake. Give me a second. Let's let this cool down for just a few minutes. I'll be right back. We'll slice down into this. And I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. Be back. Okay, everyone, I've started to cut down into here. Let's take this piece out. I'm going to show you what a moist pound cake looks like. Look at this, guys. Oh, my word. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Listen. Listen here. I'm really cooking in this kitchen. You hear me? When I told you all I was making pound cake, oh, I was, I was coming to make some pound cake, guys. All right. See how tall? Isn't that nice and beautiful? Let's put it on my plate. Beautiful. Absolutely. And there's that nice crispy piece that we're used to right there. See that? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That buttery, crunchy part. Oh, look at this. All right. So, let me show you all what this looks like like let's get a good picture down into there guys so you all can see this right here pound cake 101 if you all never made it guys make you some and try my recipe you'll love me for it <laughs> and your family and friends will love you for it absolutely all right so then what i'd like to do i'm gonna take that piece of pound cake Let's get another look at it. I'm going to, I got me some eggnog on a little bit of ice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to take a little bit of butter. Just a little bit. This is how we do it at Grandmom's house, guys. Just a nice smear. That's all I need, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to dig in right now. Oh, there's that crunchy piece. Mm, 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 mm. All right, and I want you all to take that bite right there. Bite right there, guys. There you go. Take that first bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mm-hmm. Mmm, mmm, mm, mm, mm. Look at this, guys. Mm. And here's the thing, I'm so serious. Mm. I would not lie to you guys. If you try the, the ricotta cheese, you will never make another pound cake without it. And for you all that don't like ricotta, hey, don't think for one second. Don't think for one second that this tastes like ricotta cheese because it does not. It tastes like pound cake and it's so moist. Mm. Let's go, guys. Bite that right there. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ooh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That crispy, sweet, crunchy piece right there that's at the bottom of that cake that I flipped over, it's delectable. You hear me? And now, one thing that I want to show you all. I have the cake on a cooling rack. See this? See how my finger can go under it? The reason why is because while our cake is cooling, we want air to be able to circulate under it and around it. And the reason why is because we don't want our cake to just sit onto something flat without the cooling rack because it'll get soggy. All right. So this is what your cooling rack allows. It allows the air so that your cake won't get soggy. All right, let's dig in again, guys. Right there, bite that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Boy, is this good. I can, mmm, 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 mmm. Woo-wee. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Let me get a little.
little bit of my eggnog. Oh yeah. Mmm. This really makes me want to make pound cake for Thanksgiving. Mmm. 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 Ooh -wee. If you all enjoyed this video, oh look right there. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome videos. And as always, let me bite this, guys. God bless. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Have a great night. Mm, mm, mm. And thank you for watching. Good night. Ooh, wait, that's good.